Hello and welcome to this video. In today's session, we will see how to install Apex 23 in Oracle 19C. So first, we will install the database objects using Apex package. After that, we will configure and run a web application for the REST data services. So for that, we need a running 19C instance and the package, the Apex package version 23 and the ORDS. You can load these two packages from Oracle homepage. So let's get started. So on my local machine, I have a Ubuntu machine and I created an Oracle 19C Docker. So let's start it. It is installed on Oracle Linux 7. As you see, Docker has been started. Now let's attach to this Docker and start the database. So there is one requirement. You should install Java, a JDK. Let's check. So I don't have any Java. So as my machine is based on Oracle Linux, we can use this command. You need at least this version. So let's install Java 11. Java has been installed. Now let's switch to Oracle user. So I have already loaded the Apex package and the RDS. Let's extract the Apex zip file using this command. Extraction is done. Now let's change to Apex folder. And we have here many SQL files. So now let's connect to the database. So the database is idle. Let's start it. Let's check the playable databases. So let's open this one. We need also to start the listener using this command. Later on, we will need to access the database through the listener. It is best practice to use an own table space. So let's create one. One for Apex data. I am using OMF. So this syntax is enough. And we create second one for the file. Now we are here on the Apex, the extracted zip file. Then start with the installation. We need only to run this script. But before doing that, let's log in into the playable database using this command. And we run this file. You need to provide the table spaces first one as the first parameter and the second one and specify the temp table space and the context for the static data. So let's run this command. It will take some time. So we are on this folder, so we can run this script. Apex provided by Apex. We change the internal admin user. Has been done. So now the object's installation is complete. We can configure the RDS service using this script. Apex REST config. Let's run. Let's save the Apex listener password the public the configuration is done what we need to do is to check some created object or user in the database so if we run this one select from dbe some new created user are by default locked so we need to unlock them we do the same for and in the main container, we can unlock the XB because XML DB is required by Apex and make sure that it is not locked. It is also done. The last step is to run the JT server. We need to do that as root user. So, so this is the RDS loaded from Oracle homepage. So let's extract it. First, we, we create this directory. We create this folder. After that, we need to create a configuration directory, name it, for example, or the S config. Now we can start the inbuilt JT server using this command. We can 
go here bin directory and then you need to specify the config folder it is located here in my case and we run the command install first it will take some time it is interactive so the default one is create or update database pool and install rds so we will choose this one this is the default one also basic we will keep the default configuration enter local health enter my database is on 1521 this is the default one we need to specify the the service name in my case it is pdp oracle 19c and now we will use the sys user and the password we will use this we create a data keep it temp so we will configure and start in standalone mode in our case http and the default port uh, you need to specify the location it is on in my case home oracle apex images and as you see installation is done and the server now is running you can see it is a gt let's check uh, using the browser this is the local ip of my machine and as you see we can specify the internal user admin and the password the password that we changed with that script square script and you see welcome to and you can create workspace uh, one more things now when you stop this one it is a standalone server if you stop with control c if you want to start again the server you need to use instead of install serve and you can write your script and you start the server whenever you need and you see now the server is started i hope you find this useful thanks for watching and bye